see you back again. I hope you enjoyed the last video on the beginning of equations. Today we're going to continue on equations. Those of you who are confident and think that you can have a go at some of the questions I put on the board, pause the video again, have a go, and then look at the solutions after I've done them. So let's go through the solutions together. If you weren't sure on how to do them on your own, that's all right. It takes time to get used to everything. We'll go through them together and then you can do some more later. Let's have a look at the first one. Don't forget our rules. Rule number one, always get rid of the denominator first. Rule number two, expand and simplify. Rule number three, move the letters and the numbers to the right side. And then rule number four, always multiply last. We want letters on the left and numbers on the right. So our first question, no fractions, no brackets. So we can move straight on to rule number three which is to move the numbers and letters around so that the letters are on the left and the numbers are on the right. The first thing I like to do is to get rid of the numbers. That's just a personal thing. You can get rid of whatever you like first. So I'm going to move this plus five to the other side. Remember, I need to do the opposite of what I did before. So I'm going to minus five. They cancel, that was the whole point of doing it, was to get rid of the minus five. And then I write down what I'm left. Now over here we have x minus 3 minus 5. Don't forget you're supposed to know how to do like terms. You would have learned that earlier in the year. You cannot add the x and the minus 5 because they are not like terms. So here we need to go minus 3 minus 5, which hopefully you know is minus 8. If you're not very good with negative numbers, you can watch one of my other videos which will be on negative numbers. I now need to move either my x to the other side or get rid of the 2 times x. But remember, rule number 4 says always divide last. So I'm going to move the x from over here to the other side. And to get rid of a plus x, I need to minus x. So those two cancel, remember that was the whole point of doing it, and then I write down what's left, which is 2x minus x is x, equals minus 8. Don't forget to put the minus 8, that's really important. If you forget the minus, then you'll get it wrong. Let's have a look at the next one. Rule number one, get rid of any fractions, no fractions. Rule number two, expand and simplify. I do have brackets here, so the first thing I need to do is to get rid of the brackets. And we do that by expanding. We go 4 times x and 4 times plus 3. So 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 3 is 12, and then over here there's no brackets. So we just write down what's there. And now it becomes just like this first question, and we just have to move things around. Remember our order, I like to get rid of the minus 12 first. It doesn't matter what I do first as long as what I'm doing is correct. I'm left with 4x equals, the 2x stays there, and plus 8 minus 12 is minus 4. Don't write plus 4, it's minus 4. Then of course I need to get rid of my letter on the right and move it over here to the left. And what am I left with? 4x minus 2x is 2x. And the minus 4 stays there. And my rule number 4, divide by the number last. So I divide by 2. And I'm left with x equals minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. Remember, if you understand everything except for the minuses and the pluses and the negative numbers, watch one of my other videos to have a look at how to do negative numbers so you don't get confused with that. Number three, hopefully everybody realises we need to do rule number two first, which is expand the brackets. So we have four times x is four x, four times minus two is minus eight, five times x is five x, and 5 times 3 is 15. I need to add 8 first to get rid of the number. 
to both sides. Remember, we're keeping the equation as balanced as we can. And we're left with 4x equals 5x plus 23. Now I need to move the x from the right to the left. So it's a plus 5x, so I need to minus 5x. There you go. 4x take away 5x is minus x. Now this is tricky because you need to remember that whatever's in front of the x when there's nothing there is a 1. So if I want to eliminate this minus 1, it's just like getting rid of this 2 over here. I need to divide both sides by minus 1. And I'm left with x equals minus 23. Number 4, 5 equals 2x plus 3. This is an interesting question because it appears like everything's in the wrong place. Now I like everything to be the same, I like all the questions to be the same and I find that my students generally speaking when everything's the same then they know what to do and then when it's slightly different like this one they get all confused. So what we're going to do is I want you to learn how to think about how to make the question look the same as what you've always done. Because this question is actually really easy, it just looks difficult. So if we think about what I've taught you right at the beginning, you always want to have letters on the left and the numbers on the right. The problem here is that everything's in the wrong spot. The letters are on the right and the numbers are on the left. And if I move the 5 to the right, I'm left with nothing. And that's kind of confusing, especially when you're only just starting. I think the best thing to do is to move everything so that it makes it look the same as what we're used to. Remember, this is one side of the equation and this is another side of the equation. So I can move these sides around if I want to, as long as I don't change any of the order. So I'm going to put my equal sign, I'm going to put the 5 on the other side, and I'm going to put the 2x plus 3 on the left. Hopefully now you can all look at it and go, oh, I know how to do that. That's like those really easy questions we were doing. Minus 3 first. We're left with 2x equals 2. And lucky last, divide by 2 first. In actual fact, this question was probably the easiest on the page. It just looked difficult because it was all mixed around and in the wrong place. And we are allowed to do that as long as we don't change the order of anything. So if you've got 2x plus 3 on the right, you can move that to the left and write 2x plus 3 on the left, just like we did. Number five, we have rule number one first, we need to get rid of the denominator, times both sides by four. They cancel, we write down what's left. 6x plus 5 equals, ooh, 5x times 4 is 20x. I now need to minus 5 from both sides. This is tricky because I don't have anything on the right hand side. There's no number on the right hand side, so we just write down 20x take away 5. Because there's nothing to take it away from. I now need to move my 20x. Remember, always do the opposite. The opposite of plus 20 is minus 20. 6x take away 20x is minus 14x. And then I need to get rid of the number in front of the x by dividing. Minus 5 over minus 14 is just 5 over 14. And don't be scared to leave your answers as a fraction. If it doesn't go nicely, you can leave your answer as a fraction, that's fine. And our last one, times both sides by 5. 2x plus 3 equals 20. Let's move our 3. 2x equals 17. Divide both sides by 2. 
again, nothing goes into 2 and 17, so I can leave my answer as 17 over 2. And some of you might be saying, oh, I wrote my answer as 2 goes into 17 8 times with one remainder. If you wrote 8.5 or even 8.5, any of those answers are perfect. I hope you're starting to feel a little bit more confident with equations. I want to give you a couple more like these ones that are all a little bit different, but I want you to always remember the rules. And if you follow the rules, you will always get the answer correct, unless you just make a silly mistake, in which case we just have to try to be careful. Let's do a couple more together. Okay, it's your turn now to have a go at some of these more difficult questions. Remember, they're not so hard if you just follow the rules. Rule number one, always get rid of the denominator first. Rule number two, expand and simplify if possible. Rule number three, move everything around to get the letters on the left and the numbers on the right. And rule number four, always divide last. If the question looks strange, things are all in the wrong place, don't forget that we can swap everything around as long as we keep it all in the same order. If you remember that, you'll be able to do every single one of these questions on your own and you should pretty much get them right. Have a go and then come back for the solutions. So welcome back, how did you find them? I hope you've all got answers sitting in front of you, eagerly waiting to see whether or not you got them right. Let's check it out. Starting with rule number two, expanding the brackets. Two times x, two x. Two times one is two, four x plus five. I'm going to move the two. So 2x equals 4x, 5 minus 2 is plus 3. Hope you got the plus 3. Then I'm minusing 4x. 2x minus 4x is minus 2x equals 3. And then we divide by minus 2. If you left your answer as 3 over minus 2, that's perfect. Of course, it's always better in math to put the minus on the top, but I'm not going to worry about that now. I'd be really happy if you all got that. If you got the plus 5 minus 2 wrong, and you didn't get plus 3, you could always watch my video on numbers, and then you can learn how to do those and get those right as well. But if that's the only mistake you made, good on you and keep going. Because if the only thing you don't know is that, that has nothing to do with equations. What that means is that you know how to do the equations, your problem is somewhere else. And slowly, slowly we'll get through all the problems and you won't have any. Number two, same thing, expand the brackets first. Move the six to the other side. Minus two plus six is plus four. That's our negative numbers again. Move the x. divide last by the number in front of the x. I hope you're all getting them right. Great job if you are. It means that you've understood everything we've been doing. I'm going to plus 1 to both sides. 5y equals 6y plus 8 plus 1 is plus 9. And then I need to move the y to the other side. I hope you didn't get tricked that I was using a Y instead of an X. Remember, it doesn't make any difference what letter of the alphabet we use. And did you all remember to put a 1 there? So we divide both sides by minus 1. And Y equals 9 divided by minus 1 is minus 9. Rule number 1 times both sides by 3. Y minus 2 equals 5Y times 3 is 15y, then I need to move the plus 2 to the other side. We did one of these as well, where there was nothing on the right hand side to add it to, so we just write it down. Then we move the 15y. So 1y minus 15y equals minus 14y and divide by minus 14. 
I hope you saw that you could divide two into the top and two into the bottom and you simplify to a fraction. If not, great job for getting the 2 over 14 or the negative 14. But it's always better to simplify your answers if you, if you can. Times both sides by 2. Just out of interest, how many of you didn't like the way that this one was set out and decide to move everything around? Did you do that? Did you write the equation and start like this? If you did that, good job. That was really good thinking. Because I also thought that that one looked not very nice. I'll do the solution to the other one as well. But you should still get the same answer, even if you set it out differently. So let's have a look for all those people who decided that they didn't like the look of it and they moved everything from the left to the right, which is fine. Remember, you're allowed to do it as long as you don't change any of the numbers or the letters. You still would have multiplied everything by 2. Then you would have minus 1 from both sides. Minus 2p. equals minus a third. Don't think that you're wrong because your minus is on the bottom here and our, and our minus here is on the top. Um, I did mention to you last time that it doesn't actually make any difference if the minus is on the top or the bottom. It's actually nicer if the minus is on the top. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. This one I think I'm going to swap it around. Plus 5 plus 5. 4x equals 12, divide both sides by 4, and x equals 3. And we're done. Fantastic. I'm really proud of you if you've got those questions out. And if you got one or two wrong, that's still an amazing job. Considering that the, when you first started watching my two videos, you probably were really confused and didn't know how to do any of them. Just remember, maths is easy if you follow the rules. There's a certain number of rules and you have to follow them. Don't do anything that makes a number or a letter disappear. There are no magic tricks. There's always a reason why you're doing something. And as long as you know what that reason is, you'll get the right answer. Thanks for watching my second video on equations. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.